Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing where I stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and connect all of my friends to Jesus. I'm super excited to be here one more time with you as every week on Mondays I go live on Facebook and also in my YouTube channel Stamp a Blessing to create to create blessings for others, to stamp blessings for others. I'm super excited today to bring you a little challenge in this season of the year. And that challenge is to use what you have. Many of you come to me and say, Jessica, I have so much, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm gonna give you an answer, use it. <laughs> Use it to bless someone. Use it to reach out to those who are in this season so lonely. And you know what? There is so many people that are feeling lonely these days and we cannot let that happen. We need to pray and press on and also show them the love of the Father. So today I'm going to be turning my camera and trusting that you are going to be here and you are going to be stamping with me and creating with what you have let's see what happens okay i'm gonna turn my camera around and let's go for it <laughs> this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it i'm super happy first of all i want to show you um what happened with those uh, with the paper pumpkin finishing day okay so this is just a, a little review what we did last time you know that during the first days of December, I've been working on all my paper pumpkin cards that I did not do, the ones I did not finish. And I know that some of you like looking at me at the same time that I'm talking, so here I am. <laughs> It is also so, so fun just to be able to interact with you this way. So if you are here, go ahead and say hello, even if you are on re-watching, re replaying. Okay, that is fine. Right now, I'm just showing you what I created. And you know the boxes. I already have a tutorial in my YouTube channel, also on my Stamp a Blessing Facebook group, on how to make this beautiful paper purses that are super easy with 12 by 12 piece of paper. But I decided to do a little bit different than the other one that I was doing. I wanted something a little simpler. So I brought a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this type of purses you can cut and you can create and decorate and how many many different ways okay i decided to go simple i wanted to use my paper pumpkin tags as you see as the closure i also use this one as you see here as one of the closures and then i made two with the owls the other one i already showed to you so i'm gonna uh, you can see it on my post but this is the other one and for the closure what i did is that i use a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square and when you put it together on top of this it fits perfectly you see like that so i put a bunch of my tumble adhesive glue on the back of it and then i close it i'm gonna open one of them so you see what i did okay i just put a little bit of ribbon this is cherry cobbler ribbon and this is some of my retired papers so i'm i'm excited to just encourage you to do to use what you have at hand okay that's been like in my heart i don't know if it's like the end of the year comes and you start feeling like i need to declutter i need to get to use what I have. You know what? This is a season. I also went ahead and put a bit of Velcro. You see my Velcro right here. I don't want to break my box, but there you go. I put a little bit of Velcro and then I added um, several cards that I created during this week. It was so fun. Thank you for those who met with me on Thursday at seven. We had a finishing day for paper pumpkin cards and I created a bunch. Oh my goodness. I was so excited, but many more fit in here. Let me show you the the Velcro fasteners I was using. These are not very um, fancy. They're not fancy. I just found them, I think, at Walmart or something. Scotch fasteners, multi-purpose, you see? And I took one of them and I cut it in half with my guillotine. I just cut it in half and then I, I stick it to here and here as you can see, so that my little purse closes well or opens well. But that four and a quarter by four and a quarter is just perfect to close the purses. So I hope that that encourages you to, to do that. You just cut your paper four and a quarter square and you go on the diagonal and you have a little closure in there. And then you can use a pretty tag to close it. But I made many of this. So all of them are full of cards. These are some of my 
um, February ones. These are some of the paper. If you are connected with Paper Pumpkin, you know that I love making Paper Pumpkin kits and alternates, but sometimes I don't get to finish my kits, right? I have some leftovers and I leave them there because I get so excited about the next one that I forget that I'm supposed to be <laughs> finishing my kits. So this month was absolutely perfect to do it. And many of you, my friends, have been doing the same. Some have been connecting with me through email. Others have been connecting through Facebook. Others have been connecting through YouTube. It's been super fun to hear from you and hear that you're actually using what you have. And I think one of the best things is if you have your kids, go ahead and complete them. These are some handmade um, cards that I am making for my neighbors. I am on a mission to actually meet them. I moved here two years ago. And honestly, I think in the American culture, many people just stay home. They stay home. It's so easy because you have the air conditioner on or you have your heater and you keep all of your windows closed. And there's such a privacy and such a beauty. The other day I sent a picture to my sister of the community and she's like, oh, the quiet is so awesome. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, it is true. People are very quiet around here, which praise the Lord. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm actually very thankful. But I think that kind of keeps us all in our corners and, and we don't visit each other. We don't knock at the doors. We don't want to interrupt anybody. Well, I may interrupt a few people with some of these. So I'm excited because I think it's offering the gift of friendship. And this is a season where many people get lonely. And we need to be extra intentional to show them that they are not alone. So these are the ones that I made. I'm going to put them on the side because I have other projects to show you. But you see, they're all full. They have five or six cards on the inside. I still have a few more paper pumpkin um, cards to finish. But I decided that today I wanted to work on something else. You see, they're all full. And I put the envelope that came with them on the inside. So I have five of those completed. I may be able to do one more. So I'm super happy. But it's not going to be today because I have other ideas. Okay, so I found a box. Okay, let me explain to you what I'm doing today. This is not part of the part of the process. <laughs> but I found a box. You know, you know how I love my songs, right? So I put them right there. I'll talk about that later. But I found some things that I want to use today. And then I made a list of things that I actually want to be um, creating in this last two weeks before Christmas. And I need to make... Um, Invites for friends. Look at me. I have my little note in here. Invites for friends because I want them to come and stamp with me. Um, fellowship is one of those things that is in my heart to do. Invite people. Thank yous because I am so thankful. I have so many of you placing orders in my store and I thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't tend to, I, I don't consider myself very good at selling per se, except that <laughs> I love talking about Jesus and it's so hard to tell people, Hey, buy for me, do this for me. But it is so um, appreciated when you place an order in my store because it keeps me going. It's motivating and it keeps my numbers up. And as a demonstrator, that's always a joy, right? And that way I can give more as, as I, I, I just see all that. And it's so exciting to be able to give and to be generous with others. Also, I need to create some welcome cards for some of my team members and also Christmas cards. Oh dear, we never end, right? And we're going to go visit a nursing home with my co-op, my homeschool co-op. And they um, actually asked for us to bring cards. So we're going to be singing to them and visiting with some of the senior citizens. And we are so, so happy about doing that. So I have a lot of projects. But then I thought, you know what? I have sometimes boxes of things, unfinished UFOs, okay? The UFOs, you know those, correct? That you have unfinished projects or you have things that you haven't used in forever. And you're so afraid of using them because nobody's going to care about seeing them. I want to tell you something. Most people that are not in the stamping community do not know that what is in or what is not in. They love your cards. They love your projects. And this story came to mind from Moses that says, um, the Lord asked him, what do you have in your hand? Because in Exodus 4, he said, what if they do not believe me or listen to me? And say, the Lord did not appear to you. I have my Bible right here. It says, then the Lord said to him, what is that in your hand? And he replied, a staff. That is what Moses had in his hand. And God used that miraculously, okay, to touch a complete nation. Actually, two, the people of Israel and the, and the, the Egyptians. So it is amazing what God can do with what you have in your hand and what you have at hand. So... 
These are things that I love. I want to try to see if this could be like my main stamp set that I'll use today because it's one that is coming very soon in the mini catalog. Demonstrators have access to this beautiful, beautifully happy stamp set. So I put it there. I also got the painted po posies. Did I say that right? Painted posies um, embossing folder because why? Because I have not used it. <laughs> because I thought it would be nice. I, I brought out my little jar of red and pink ribbons, okay? This is a great idea to store them. When I store all my ribbons like this, I use them more often, so I'm super excited. I actually pull a lot of this ribbon for my... Um, for my purses that you saw, it was right in here. And I have different colors, cherry cobbler, real red. Um, what was that? Mary Merlot and some pinks as well. And I think this kind of bring that Christmassy color into it. I brought my handmade tag because I like it for sentiments. And I brought one of my retired favorite punches, the two and a half circle punch. So much easier than dice, right? I love my punches. Um, what else I brought? Oh, and this is what you're going to love the most. But before I go there, let me check your messages because I see some of your comments and I haven't even said hello. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see who's here today. Yay. I see so many of you are on Facebook saying hello. And someone said, good evening. Is that you, Maria, from Finland? Most likely. We are all doing great. I see in YouTube the joyful stamper. Yay. That purse is amazing. Thank you so much. So happy that you like it. Thank you. Thank you. I hear from Facebook your bags are awesome. I need to use retire paper too. Yes. This is the time. <laughs> I love this idea. I need to attend your finishing party. I'm sorry. It was so good. I'm going to do it next year again. I don't know. I have the time to do it this year because um, to do another one because of life and Christmas presents and everything that we have to prepare. You know how it goes. So I try to use the first 10 days of the December. Have We didn't have air conditioner until a few days ago years ago. We used to hang out outside in the summers in the evening. We talked to so many more neighbors than we do now because of that. It is true. It is so true. You know what? I used to live in Puerto Rico and everybody would hang out on the porches because it's so hot inside. And when you're outside, you get to see people. You get to say, hey, how are you? And you stop and you talk to people. You're exhausted inside. But we're so comfortable inside our homes and it's my fault. I love being, I'm a home person. I love being home. So I have to intentionally get myself out there and I'm trying. I see true about people do not know what is current or not, except maybe other demonstrators. And there's Maria saying, hola, and you are so right. Most people do not even know, and honestly, they do not even care if something is totally retired or totally in it, you know, like in. Um, they do not know, and I think we need to forget and put that aside. So today I was kind of contemplating what to do with you. This is a live. Usually I go live on Facebook and YouTube at this hour, 1 p.m. Eastern time, and um I like coming up with different ideas. I don't have a new paper pumpkin in my hand. I usually bring the new paper pumpkin, but in Christmas, there's so much Christmas going on. And I thought, let's see what I can create today. So this is really going to be a live live because I don't have necessarily anything. I pulled some of my shares to let you know that, yes, I will be doing some mini catalog paper shares. I call them my pretty Pretty paper shares um, are coming on January. So I will be posting in my blog and on the Facebook group. I will be posting some information about them. I love doing my shares. I totally take advantage of them. And I pull this paper out because it's so pretty. It's a lovely linen. And I cut all my 12 by 12s at four by six, you see, and then I use them. I made many, many cards, like my own swaps from on stage conference for the demonstrators using papers from my paper shares because, hey, you get to use it. Now, this is what will surprise you. I filled up this box not long ago. This is a box of priority mail, okay? And I filled it up with a lot of things for Paper Pumpkin and other kids and other things that were UFOs that I have not used. And I thought I'm going to send it to a friend. I made, I think, four of these boxes and I sent away three of them. Um, I'm not sure what people are using them for. I just, I asked, do you want a box with some of my leftovers, UFOs and kids and all that? Some of them were like, yay. And others like, no, 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 I have too much stuff. And I thought, okay, so this one was left over and I've been having it on the table for months because I didn't know what to do with it. Today I pulled it out and I found that I have leftovers of very old paper pumpkin. Okay, this is like 2016. And you see many of them are done. I have some things from Sam's that are already there. Hello. I have this, I think was a paper pumpkin as well. I don't remember. <laughs> I have, look, I have one left of this card. 
pretty pocket card kit. So this is like a looking back into what in the world I have in this box, okay? Um, this was also a paper pumpkin kit. If you remember these. If you've been in paper pumpkin for a good chunk of time, you'll see that all this have been paper pumpkin. But there's card bases and there's so much. These were so cute. These are baby cards that I started and never finished. You see, congratulations. I have thank yous. And I love that I have some um, cardstock already cut. Like I have things already ready for me to be using and I'm not. Look at these. These have some old business cards of mine. Look at that, how awesome. And I have some, some I, I think these were for Christmas cards in different colors. Like this is a purple. And I have this ones. I don't know what my future holds, but I'm happy you're in it. Look, I even start making these cards they're almost finished. Look, do you have projects like this that they're almost finished, but you never finish them? Well, today's the day that I want to tell you, use what you have because you have a staff and more than a staff in your hand, like Moses, and you can certainly use them to bless people. And I want to try today in this time that we are together to start blessing people with what I have. So my challenge today is to use something from this box with the little bits that I put around here to create something, either welcome, either, um, what did I say I needed? <laughs> Invites or Christmas for those who are lonely, particularly for people that feel lonely. I believe that there is an attack right now going in our country and around us as Christians as well. Everybody's been under attack to feel lonely, to feel like you don't have friends. You're alone and that is a lie. It's a pure lie from the devil and you cannot buy into it. You certainly can. This was a past paper pumpkin for Thanksgiving. I loved it. it. Oh, look at it. It has even the front. I think this was an extra that I had. Look at that. Grateful for family. Grateful for family like you. Thankful for friends like you. Oh my goodness. You see, I was going to send all this and then the person said, no, I don't need it. I'm like, okay. Look how cute. I did remember this one. This was a letter nine from a stamp set and I made it into a little snail. You remember that? This was cool. It's kind of cool to go back. I have great year. I have something that I don't know what it is. I have some very old banners. So this was one of my cleanups. I honestly, I filled up five, I think five boxes like this. Oh, this would be nice for some Christmas cards. Look at those. I made like uh, five boxes. I sent them away to different people. And this one has been just looking at me and I don't know what to do with it. So I thought, let me try something. Look how cool that is. I have a lot in here. So let me see. I'm not going to necessarily be making this, but I have to choose what I'm going to make. Okay. So I'm trying to see. I think these are the ones that make um, birthdays. This one's make like birthday cakes or something like that. I can't remember. I'm not making birthday cakes right now. This i don't know what it is this is very promising so i'm gonna leave it out this is very promising because just car stock with more oh, with even the rhinestones are there this makes things really easy for me i have a few ufos too <laughs> when my niece visits i let her finish them i love that <laughs> i love it oh that is so good and then i have more cherry cobbler in here i'm gonna put that out I have a thank you. Hey, that is a cute thank you. I am not going to be making any baby baby stuff right now. Sorry. Um, I'm going to leave this in here for another time. I have some blues, but I think they're baggies. Oh, I really like this. So let me see. Putting this back. This may be a nice one to finish. I'm not sure about using this one. I like that I have a bunch. Look at this. I have a bunch of card bases. So this is really nice for that. I have flowers in there. Oh my goodness. This would be great. Ooh. Okay, I'm excited. It's like it's, it's like Christmas for me. <laughs> I have Christmas in my own house. Look at this. This is so cute. Hello. <gasps> okay. So I am excited, like again, like it's the first time I'm opening this box and I actually made it in one of those moments that I was cleaning up. Are you decluttering anybody getting there? December feels to me like spring. I know Maria's decluttering too. So we're trying to do things here quickly. Okay, so I pulled out a few things in here. Let me start with the easiest. Maybe I'll make this one. 
and you'll see me creating. What I want to do today is actually to encourage you to use what you have. Okay, so this this video on is it may not get me a lot of views and stuff like that because people want to see most people want to see new things and everything new. I did bring a little new, but um, I just want to think about all that you have and that you're not using. I want you to consider that, and I want you to think, okay. What can I use to bless one person? Just one person. You don't have to think about the entire community. I can't reach everybody. But at least you can reach one person, correct? You can do one. So that's where I'm going to go. So if it's just one and I have this right here, I'm going to see what's left from this. I don't think I even have to stamp a stamp on this. This was a this was a super easy look. I think I used them all. Pretty pocket card kit. This is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. I don't think it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you put a sticker, look, it has a sticker. So I'm trying to look at what I have here. I think you put the sticker in here. Oh my goodness, it's like mega super simple, right? You put this sticker there and this is supposed to go here. Let me see. Yappa. Yes, 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 that's where it goes. Do I have anything? Oh, I have something else in there. Ha! I have um, the, I have the, the twine. Look how cute. <laughs> This is the easiest card in the entire world, okay? Easiest card right now. Then you take this sticker. Okay, I need more kits like this that are like super mega, super mega simple. You put that there and then we have this in here. You know, sometimes you just need to say, get out what I have and go use it and you'll find that you have a lot of treasures. And I like, I, I love when people buy new things. That is a blessing to me as a demonstrator. But if you are, you, if you're just buying stuff for buying them and you're not using them, um, that's not really a blessing because you can use that money for something else like food or, you know, blessing somebody else. So I want you to use what you have. And this is my video to encourage you to do that, to use whatever you have at hand. And if you show it to me, then it's even more joy. So either email me at stampablessing, um, stampablessing at gmail.com or post it in my Facebook group. I want to see something that you have and that you're using, that you had it there like UFO. UFO, just waiting for you. So this box was in the area that I wanted to pick up and surely I can send some more of this stuff away as well if I don't have the time. But I want to make the time today to create something. And here my, I'm, I'm a little particular with how my, oh my, how my bows look, okay? Wee, that looks so cute, look. <laughs> I just made a card. Can you believe that? That went so, so fast. I love it. This is an oldie, okay? This is super oldie card. But I already have a card, and I think I love that. I love this card. You know why? Oh, my goodness. I really like it because you cannot just say hello, but you can say so many different things. I love this style. So I'm going to keep it here as an inspiration. Who knows if something else happens? And um, I'll bring this up. I know I like this too. I want to make some Christmassy out of that, but I'm going to bring this now. I don't know if this is one or two kits together, but I think I have a bunch in here and they even have, um, they even have envelopes. Uh, you know, I am into use what you have. That is what I'm encouraging you to do. And I have this song here because as I said, I think many of us have been attacked with this loneliness thing. And it's a spirit. It's a bad spirit. Just, just memories and things that make you feel lonely. The Lord does not want you to be lonely. He never created you to be alone. Actually, Psalm 68 6 says that he places the lonely in families. He never, ever intended for you to live a life lonely, to feel lonely, to be alone. He sent Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, to be able to walk on earth with us. And how empowering. This is one of my favorite songs, okay? It's called Live Like You're, Lo You're Loved, and I just forgot who actually sings it. Um, but if you put on Google or on YouTube, Live Like You're Loved, you're you will find it. You're not the only one who feels like this, feeling like you lose more than you win. Like life is just an endless hill. You climb, you try and try, but never arrive. I love that. I'm telling you something, this racing, this running, all your working ways.
way too hard And this perfection you're chasing is energy wasted Cause he loves you like you are Isn't that awesome? <laughs> just i'm rejoicing you know i come live to rejoice the joy of the lord is our strength so yes i'm a little different but i love creating and inviting jesus into everything that i'm doing because without him i can do nothing not even use my ufos okay and susie said it's so cute <laughs> they should bring it back yes and who said it's late who's late who came late <laughs> this is such an awesome and powerful song i love it you should have it on your list um, this is an oldie paper pumpkin kit. Okay. It actually, you know what? I think this kit is actually available in the store as a kit collection. So if you go to the store, mm, stampablessing.stampingup.net and you look for kit collections, you find this, you find these cards and look how cool they are. Oh my goodness. Now I wish I had the photo of how they go. <laughs> I don't remember, but I have a bunch of card bases. Look, I have one, two, I have envelopes. I like that. I have some flowers. So definitely I needed a paper pumpkin finishing, finishing day for this one. Look at all the nice little labels that I have in here. <gasps> Ooh, I am so liking this. I have more card bases. One, two. I believe that we need to be a little bit more intentional in trying to reach out to others and let them know that they are loved by the love of the Father. And I love that this entire month, I feel like the Lord's been speaking everywhere I go. It's speaking about love and how He loves us, how much He loves us, how much He loves us. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I think I need to be intentional in walking in your love and uh, and sharing that love with others. And I think our card making is perfect for that. So use what you have, like Moses. What do you have in your hand? A staff, a stamp, a punch. Go for it. You got to use it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine cards, nine envelopes, sorry. And I have one, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess I have eight card bases for this. I have some very cute little swirly thingy that we'll put somewhere. And I have a lot of these. And I remember, I remember this came with a, I remember this came with something. This came with, um, I'm gonna go look for it, give me a second. I know this was somewhere to be found. Maybe it's here. Maybe I can find it here or not. Maybe it was, oh, I don't remember. Maybe it's not that old. Maybe it was here, but I truly don't remember if it is or not. This is one of my, um, I need to go back and put this in order for another year. I think I have, I may have this one here or not. No, I don't think I have it here. So where did I see it? I saw it somewhere, but no, it's not there. I do have the stand set though. I think it's because it's too old. Where did I put my stand sets? It was 2000 and I think it was 2016 stamp sets that I was looking at from Paper Pumpkin. And maybe it was here, let me see. Yeah, it's this one. So it was a 2016 Paper Pumpkin kit, okay? And I keep all my stamps like that. I keep them all together. So, this is definitely one that says, thinking of you, hello, sunshine, thank you, happy birthday, congratulations. This was cool because it goes into all of this nice little labels, you see? Thinking of you, hello, sunshine. It's so cute. Okay, so let's see if I can create something cute with this. What about that? Okay, I like this. I like my banners a lot. And I want to try to bring, I, I have some things in here, remember? I have some little things that I can use if I wish. Let me make some space. I'm not going to use my embossing folder right now. I have my beautifully happy that I want to kind of incorporate because it is a new one. I want you to be able to use what you have and also bring some new things in on the table. But this is so mega cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So if I put another flower in there, that's taking too much space. Now, if I put one of these in here, that would be kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. 
So let me see if I have an extra piece of paper. See how this looks. Okay. I'm creating. This is my process. I love doing this. I love getting things out and not having necessarily a huge plan. Last week I had a huge plan. This week I'm like, you know what? I can just create with what I have. And, and try it oh you know what these ones are here too i could use one of these for that i like this i like this thing I'm trying to figure out how to use it so i like for a feeling better kind of day but then i want to invite my neighbors so i'm trying to see what i can use to do that i think i'm gonna use the other ones for that the happy the happy the things there's a hello one in here yeah, I think I'm going to use the hellos for that. I like the hellos for that. I'll do that with that. And I said I needed some welcomes. And I'm still kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with this ones. I love that flower. I love this as well. I think I love the idea of putting some purple behind it. So I'm going to grab the little flower from here. Not there. Here, the one I already used the other day. So cute. And I think I'm certainly going to use it on this card. Look how precious that is. It's going to look awesome. Yay! So what are you thinking of using in the next days to bless someone? I was considering making some Christmas cards out of this, but I don't think this is going to necessarily go with Christmas. That's kind of not going to work, right? This needs a little bit more ink, but maybe we can make it work. I'll put that one there, put this in here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know, I'm laughing, you're laughing at me. It's like, what is Jessica doing? You sure have treasures there. Yes, I do. <laughs> just don't know what I'm doing right now <laughs> but it is good to have some treasures well I said I had the my hand hand now I have to cover that because I don't like it so I do it like this I'll put it right there I'm gonna find maybe a calypso coral or even a reddish what do you think of that I'm gonna look under my table because my table is my car stuck under my table is my car stuck okay and uh, blah, blah, blah. let's see I have gorgeous grape Gorgeous grape would look so pretty in there. Let's see if I have some leftovers. There is my gorgeous grape leftover. I'm trying to make something new here. Just, just have a little bit of fun and get things out. But after this, I totally have to go for Christmassy. <laughs> I have that in there. I have this in here. I can certainly do something like that. Or something like this. I'm telling you something. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you're looking way too hard. Thinking of you. I'm still not like totally there with this card, right? Let's do the next one. If something doesn't work, you go for the next. I'm going to try this one. This is cute. And again, I'm just trying to use what I have to create something new and to inspire you to use whatever you have, whatever that may be. Okay, so if I put this here, that would look really cute. Now, what color to use on this one? I'm thinking, oh, I like this, totally like this. I may need to use that evening evergreen. And I need to bring this over because I'm using my photopolymer stamp sets. So it's always good. Just using Evening Evergreen, one of my favorite colors. Did I ink that well? I hope I did. It's gonna go right there. Pow! God, it's good. <laughs> I love doing this. Uh, okay, that is so mega cute. I like it a lot. I really like it. Now, something I haven't done with this stamp set is actually coloring. Coloring the thing. So maybe... Maybe we could try doing some coloring, okay? I have some mint macaron, and I have some sweet sorbet. 
That's very, very red. Let me go for maybe Sherry Tubbler. Yes, that's a little bit better. And I'm going to grab this other one. This is a new stamp set using an old card base, okay? Old card base with new stamp set, but the cool thing is you get to use what you have. I'm going to try to color this. I've never done this before. The first time I used this stamp set. So have mercy on me if it doesn't come out as you wish or as I wish. Let's see. Have it right here. Should be covering that flower. Should be covering this other flower. Right there. Oh, this looks like it's going to look really pretty. Is this one of the... Yeah, I think this is one. Oh, this is a celebration item. I didn't realize that. This is a celebration item. Yep, celebration. This is so mega cute. Okay, so let me try. I color all the flowers with that. That was easy. Um, let's try. Oh, I like this color better. Let's try soft succulent. Let's try soft succulent. And I have the leaves uh, here somewhere. Right here. All the leaves. This is so fun. I love using what I have. Honestly, it's been a, a week of victories just because I'm using what I have. It just makes me feel like, yes, you know, I spend my money, but I'm using it. I love it. And now I'm going to try to put this over here. Let's see if it works well. Right there. It's a little difficult when I'm not right on top of it. You know, you are on top of it because you're watching me. <laughs> But that works. Oh, that looks really nice. I like it. Okay, maybe one more. Let's see. I have this one in here. I love all the pool party, how it looks around it. It looks really, really nice. I have this one. And I don't know if those are flowers or... Um, yeah, I think they go in green. Let me see. This would go here. Yeah, they go in green. So I'm going to do this right here I'm gonna put it right on top kind of find the spot where all of these get colored I think I did it right there I love stamp sets that make my life easy look at that <laughs> it's so cute I love it I'm loving it oh my goodness thank you Jesus this is so much fun okay so what sentiment am I gonna put here I usually like doing my sentiments with black and um you know, something else that I was considering is that I have many people that are struggling with sickness. So it would be really nice to send some get well cards for a feeling better kind of day. I love that. I have that here somewhere. Let me see. For a feeling, for a happy birthday, for sending happy thoughts, kindness matters. Where is my feeling better kind of day? Here. I have many that are um, struggling with their health. Pray for my sister. She is one that right now is struggling with her health and I am going to be praying for her. She just told me this morning that she is well and gets well fast. Okay, I should totally stamp this somewhere else before it goes there because what if... I always tell people, try it on your placemat and then I don't <laughs> and make the messes. <laughs> Oh, have mercy, Lord. Okay, let's see if this comes out nice and pretty. Okay, that is really nice. Look how cute that looks. Such a pretty, pretty one. Okay, I love it. It's so nice. And I love that they put that pool party all around it. Now, is there anything I want to add to this? Is there anything I want to add? I don't think it goes with gold, really. Hmm, kind of makes me feel like it doesn't go with gold. And it does, it goes with um, cherry cobbler. So if I have a little bit of cherry cobbler, it would be really nice. Yes, I do have cherry cobbler around here. So I'm going to do something here just because. Just because. It's good. It's good to create. Okay. I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to see how... What measurement this has. This is a four and a quarter. So that should be pretty good. And I'm going to cut just a little bit right there. And I may cut another little bit. That's like a number one right there, which I guess is the centimeters. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. It's kind of weird, but it's so easy to cut it right there. I'm going to do this too. 
And I think I want to add just a border right here that finishes up this card really nice. Like that, it's just a little tiny addition to the border right there. I like it. I like it. And now all I need is a few little gems and I need to find some gems for this card. And I'm gonna create a few of these right now. Now I like my little border here because it adds a little extra, um, just a little extra, what? And, and raising it, like dimension to the card. I like that. But I ha already had, remember that this one came with some, not this one, but there's some in here. I had one in here that had a lot of, here it is. This is the one that has different, different, um, jewels i think i'm gonna use those jewels because i have it right here right oh wow now an idea came i have another idea yep what can happen but i'm gonna use one of these and put it in the center of my flower right there and then i'm gonna use one of these and put it maybe right here and make another one go right there Okay, so I have a nice little for a feeling better kind of day card with the new Beautifully Happy. I really like that. And I have some cherry cobbler in here. Remember that I showed you cherry cobbler? We have something with cherry cobbler. Here they are. So let's see what I have in here with cherry cobbler that can kind of give us an idea with this card. Okay, I don't know what I have in here. I have some... This, this is very, uh, this is not my usual basic white, so that's interesting. I don't know what I was doing, but here I have some cherry cobbler. I have more little things in here. Hmm. I have this can go right there. It would be really, really pretty to have an inside. I'm trying to see if I want to add something else to this card. When Jessica's creating, she's just going for it. And I'm trying to see if I want to do something like this, you see? What do you think? Do you like it with two or do you like it with just one? Let me know. I'm loving how that stamp set is looking. That flower for fussy cut and a scrapbook page is looking like an awesome pair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like me. You're thinking scrapbooking. Okay, so one or two. I don't know. I don't know if I want two or just one. Nobody's saying anything. I need to know. Okay, I think I like the one. Let's keep the one for now. I like it. It's cute. Okay, so, so far we have this two. I like that. But then I have another one in here that I can certainly finish. Some nice little cards in here. These are some oldies, right? I don't know what my future holds, but I'm happy you're in it. This is different colors. How can I make this into a... Um, Whew, how can I make this into more of a Christmas card, right? I don't know. I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Could it be that I can add some of this color? Would it go well with purple? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. We have a, a thing in there. Um, I can do that. And then I have my other punch that I know, I don't know where it went. I have all this ones, but I really don't want to use that particular sentiment at this point. I want to bring something a little different. Maybe if I do this right here. It's, 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 it's purple. It's a little different for me. I was not expecting to use purple, but if I could bring something, okay, I can make a bunch of different cards for those who are and this would be nice in there just right here yeah i can use it let's see if it works okay let's see if it works ha ha, ha. i love this i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use this i'm making my little mess as usual i don't know where i put my cherry cobbler i was just using it but i'm gonna take this one. Okay. I have many people saying one. I got it now. <laughs> it came a little late. I was like, what happened? Nobody's answering me. Okay. You did answer. Thank you. I'm going to put this here. Let's see. 
how this looks. Okay, that looks really, really pretty. I like it. Put that aside. And I have all these bases, so why not use them? I like that I can use this on the back right there. And then I can take one of these, maybe one of these, and put a sentiment. So where are my sentiments, right? I like the big one though, I like the big one. This one's right there. And we can put, ta -ta -ta. well, sending happy thoughts. Hmm, I need an a Merry Christmas type, right? Do we have paper pumpkin to the rescue? I'm trying to not get off this table today. I should have everything I need around here, right? Tis the season, Santa Claus is coming to town, deliver, open me, Merry Christmas, no peeking. That doesn't look like a Christmas card. <laughs> How can I make this into a Christmas card? Hmm, maybe a little bow right here, but something needs to change. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna stay with my sentiments, the ones that I was using before. I like, you are easy to love. Thank you, kindness matters for very happy, sending happy thoughts. Maybe I can do a sending happy thoughts or you are easy to love. Oh, that is so sweet, I love it. Where is my stamp set? That is a very, very good question. Where is my stamp set? Oh, I like these. Look. Look how cute. Oh, I like this. I love when I find treasures inside my... Oh, that goes so nice. <laughs> that goes so nice. I love it. Don't say it again. I'm using it. But I need to find my stamp. Oh, it's right here. I found it. I got it. Kindness matters. I have you are easy to love. Wow. You know what? For God, that is so simple. He just loves you. He loves you. He excitedly loves you. And that is such a truth. Hallelujah. Nobody loves us like him. For him, it's easy to love you, even if you're cranky. <laughs> Isn't that good that he loves us? He loves us entirely. You are easy to love. I love that. I absolutely love that. I don't know if I love it exactly this way, but I love the, the sentiment. So I may need to do a little different here. Let's do something teeny bit different. Let's take another one of these. Let's stamp my big stamp. Here it is with my cherry cobbler, but I'm going to stamp off the cherry cobbler. So Jessica's going to come here, do one there, and then one here. And that should be a little bit lighter than the one before. And then instead of using black, we're going to use green. Where's my evening evergreen? Here it is. I'm mixing all the, all the colors. And when Jessica doesn't have her cleaner clothes, she just goes for it. <laughs> Where did you get those plastic envelopes? You have your PP kits. Oh, my paper pumpkin kits. Oh, I'll link them. I'll link them for you after I'm done with this. I found them on Amazon and I love them. They are awesome. Let's see if this works better, okay? Da, 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 da. Come on, give me a good stamp. Oh, that looks so cute. I love it. Okay, I'm loving this much better now. And my card is taking some, some shape, you see using what I have. This doesn't give you joy to use what you have. It gives me joy to use what I have. Now, I don't think that has enough glue, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm just making, I know I'm making a huge mess on my table, but it gives me so much joy. And you know how many people in senior, I don't know, like senior citizens love doilies. So I think this would be a perfect one for me to bring to the senior citizens, don't you think? That would be really nice. I'm going to use this. And I want my kids to be able to give some cards and remind them that they are loved. That is my whole goal, okay? Is to just remind people that they are loved. We need to do that more often. And um, plan to go and get a little gift so they can give with this. But this is so sweet. Look. Okay, I really like how it looked. We turn a purple and red. 
It's a little bit different than our usual, but I think that is just awesome. And I would add maybe some little, um, some little rhinestones or something in there. Let's make a few more because I like this. So I'm gonna take all of these ones that I created, all of these ones, and we're going to stamp, 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 and use some of those. <laughs> I don't know how many of those we have, but we're. I'm using the other side. Okay, I'm not. I'm not throwing away anything. What in the world? I'm going to do all that. This ones I think have a women already stamp on them, so I can't use this one. Ha! <laughs> Remember that one, Maria? Yay! Okay, so my cherry cobbler. This is exciting. We're almost there. So happy. So happy we are using what we have. That is my whole intention today, is that you take time to go check, even if it's now that you're watching me, you can go check what you have available. What is a UFO? and finish it i was talking yesterday with anna and she said i have so many cards that i made that sometimes i consider that they're not pretty enough and i put them on this side maybe this is your opportunity to use those as your stress reliever you don't have to make a hundred cards at a, at a you know in one moment if you don't have the time to create new cards you can certainly just grab something that was a ufo an unfinished object and go ahead and that's so cool i love that i don't think i have any more did i do i want to make this one maybe maybe i want to make this one too on the other side nobody's gonna dismantle your card to check if you stamp something under right i love the line images and i love that i can also color them i really like that really 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 okay so i have those and now i have my sentiment that is gonna go in evening evergreen it right here uh, I'm telling you something this God we believe it oh, he changed everything thank you Jesus you change everything let me follow this one because it goes like this and it goes on top of the flower but it looks nice on green I think it looks so much better what do you think of this <laughs> Tina said hello hello Tina thank you for being here today <laughs> I am encouraging everyone today, Tina, to use what they have to send a blessing to someone and especially to those who may be lonely in this season of Christmas, those who are sick, those who are secluded at home that are at home and are not able to get out, those who are senior citizens that don't get maybe many, um, um, how do you say, many visitors coming to see them during this season and, you know. This is a perfect time. I'm excited. It's going to be our first time. We're going to go caroling. And uh, I'm happy. I think it's going to work real good. How does this go? Like, God, like that. So I am using some UFOs, some unfinished objects from years ago. And I'm making this pretty cards with it, with the beautifully happy celebration stamps it that it's coming. Now, I do need to cut more of this. I'm using my two and a half um circle punch and honestly it works great with what i'm doing and i already had my cherry cobbler ready for me right so that works i don't know how many i made one two three four five so i need five in total and i'm just going for it because it's on my table and it is for using your paper your car stock your dimensionals everything that you got is for you to use if you don't use it it's gonna stay there or um yeah you're gonna end up just selling it at some point because nobody's using it now let's do this selling it or giving it away Ooh, that's sad you shouldn't come on okay so we have all this let's use my dimensionals where did i put them right here we have one two three four i'm loving this stamp set i never thought i was gonna like it so much but i love that i can create new things and remember i'm i'm re like i'm reusing stuff i don't want to use that other stamp i don't know what my future holds but i'm happy you're in it because these are for the senior citizens and i don't know them <laughs> so <laughs> i'm really not in their lives so i can't say i'm so happy you're in my life right but i want to go and bring happiness and this uh this weekend one of our um the drummer from our worship team sent a picture they are in guatemala and they're bringing cheer and they're bringing a lot of um 
um, the provi provision for people in Guatemala. And he sent a, a picture to us through WhatsApp with him dressed up as Spider-Man. And you would think, well, what does Spider-Man has to do with Jesus? But, you know, the kids don't mind. The kids were so excited to get to meet Spider-Man. You know, the kids' imaginations are amazing. And they were so happy to see Spider-Man for the first time come and talk to them. And uh, so they were taking pictures with Spider-Man and all that. And you know what? We are the light of the world. We are, are the salt of the earth. We need to bring joy. We need to bring happiness to those around us. We are to shine, you know. We were made to shine. And I love that. I love that he posted it on the fa on the WhatsApp. It was not on Facebook. It was on WhatsApp. I, I was so blessed by it because I thought, I love that he's using his talent with a costume of Spider-Man to just bring joy and bring cheer. And that's exactly what I want to do when I make all these cards and things. I want to bring cheer to others. Where did I put all my reds? Hear that. I want to bring cheer to others. I want other people to see my cards and say, oh, she thought of me. Or, oh, how pretty. Or, oh, thank you. You know, this is so cool. Or just to put it on their mantles, you know. Sometimes I take cards and I put them on my kitchen just to see them for as long as I can, you know, because somebody thought of me, Some somebody just thought of me, and that is beautiful. Tell me, isn't it hard to just do, um, to go to the post office and take things over, put the stamp, go find them, where everything takes time, so that is an offering of love to somebody, and look at this, these cards are starting to look so awesome, I'm so excited, where did I put the other ones? Okay, here they are, yay, so I have one, Never thought they were going to look like this. I'm so happy. <laughs> I have one. I keep finding one, two, three, four, and then five. So I think I made extras. So I'm going to need to post those in another part. But look, these cards were totally done for me. I just have to put these on top and the little leaves. So I'm going to find more leaves. I'm trying to have them all ready. This one doesn't have a red. This goes here. And then... This goes here. This looks so different. What happened to this one? Oh, I created some, something weird in there. Do you see that? Okay, Jessica, you don't have to do something if you don't like it, okay? If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. I don't like that one. <laughs> but I can find another one, correct? I can find another one. Okay, so let me see how many flower, how many leaves I have. Oh, God, it's so good. I cannot wait to see what you create with what you have. Where did I put them? Right here. Uh -huh. I cannot wait. I cannot wait because I think the Lord is doing something new and he takes what you have in your hand to create something new. He takes what you offer. If you have it and you're available, he will use that to bless other people and to bring his love to other people. I love what God is doing in our lives. And yesterday, the, the the preacher that came to visit us, he brought about the love of Christ. And it's been week after week that I just keep hearing this message that we are loved and God is doing something so cool. I just love that he keeps bringing us that. And he said, you know what? The, of the two, the most important commandments when they ask Jesus is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, right? And the second is as important, love your neighbor as yourself. And he said, you cannot love your neighbor unless you learn to love yourself the way God loves you. And I was like, wow, that is so true. He was like, boom, you know, bringing the truth right there. You need to receive the love of the Father. People are not as interested in what you say until they actually realize that you love them. You know, and it's true. It's true. They need to feel and experiment the love of the Father. So... Go ahead and use what you have to do that. It's super important. And I'm finishing these cards in here. I know I have a lot to do. <laughs> I can do so much with everything that was on that box. But if you have UFOs, I'm going to inspire you. Look, I really like bringing these up. These are all doilies. I have them in there, all paper doilies from from stamping up that I use, but I really like putting that up. I think I'm going to put a few little jewels on them. I really like how they're looking. Do you like them? I really like them. That's right. It's just paper. <laughs> I love that. Tina said, amen. We have the worst blizzard here. No way to go out. Whoop! You can stay home and do a lot of good things. Hi, Tina. Thanks for being here. Okay, so trying to finish my cards here, putting a few of these ones that I was not even planning on using but I like them, so I'm using them. 
and it seems to me like I may need something else. So let's see what I have around here. The blues don't go. You see, I have some blues, but hmm, I don't think blue goes into this. It's not the color of choice. Um, would this go? They look kind of different. I don't know. It's a very, very, very um, green, greenish, but I'm going to try it and see how it looks, okay? They can look different. Let's see. I'll tell you in a minute if I actually like it or not. Hmm. Meh. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. I like it. It doesn't go with this one, though. So let's take this one out of here. Maybe put this one there. Yeah, I can do that. I like it right there. Yep. I like that. Brings a little pop of color. I like this. I like this a lot. Just reminding people how loved they are. And again, I love just bringing this up. It gives us such a nice um, feeling to the card. It makes it different when you do that. And uh, I, I don't have any more of this ones. So I'm trying to think what I could do. I'll leave that one there. I'll use one more of these. And I'll finish this project, encouraging you to use what you have today. And also giving you a little sneak peek into that beautifully happy. I like that. I wanted to use that one. And I'm so happy that I created some for the senior series since I know I'm not, I don't have that many, but I may get some out from my stash and just bring some cards to them. Okay, these are not coming as easy as I envision. Maybe if I do this. That may work better. These have been there for years, guys. Too many. <laughs> Too many years <laughs> without using. I don't even know what, what kit this came on. I remember it was a paper pumpkin kit, but I don't remember which one. So let's see. I'll put this here. Da -da -da. Yep, just a little pop of color coming out of that corner. Makes it all pretty right there. And I definitely, I think my favorite part is this. Look, guys, this is my favorite part right here. <laughs> it's just bringing that doily up a little messy right there. I have other ones that I can make for sure. I have my, my pretty paper shares. I have this, but this doesn't go with it. Nope, it doesn't. What was the other one that I had? I had this one. I guess I could do something like that, you know? Could definitely do something like that maybe use this i'm not sure oh ooh, look at this i have this i could use this why not let me see let me see let me see if it works it has oh there's no no card base in here no that doesn't work i needed a card base okay I'm gonna leave it like this. I like this card right there. That looks really cute. I have a big mess on this table, but I hope to inspire you really today to just use what you have at hand to make an impact on the people that are around you. And just finishing with this wonderful song. Oh, wait, I have this in here. Why not put some? Let's do that. Let's finish this and then we'll review our song. I have them. If you have it, use it. Use what you have. Just don't think for the best occasion in the entire world, I'll need them in a year or I'll need, no, in a year you'll, there's new things and you'll be wanting to buy other stuff, you know. Use what you have now at the end of the year and be a blessing to someone, okay? That is my whole message today is that you go and love on people and I know I have more of the, hmm, I have more of them, where did they go? They escape, I have more, oh, here they are. I have more of the, of those jewels you see there's a jewel right there each of these apparently i make this for a class they look like they came from a class years ago and i never used them where is it i said i had one in here it's not there here almost finishing yay so happy that you joined me today thank you thank you thank you it's exciting to finish something okay and you are here today and i hope you show me what you are finishing what you are doing this year with what you have. Look, I love it. <laughs> they look so cute. Don't they look cute? I really like it. I really like it. I'll finish this one a little later. I may put a little um, rhinestone on it as well. But these are so cute. I really like how they turn out. Look at them a little closer. Aren't they nice? They're very cute. I think they are. And uh, 
just putting a little flower use what you have and then we have this one for a feeling better kind of day i know who this is gonna go to so let me um go to me and i want to bring something very special to you i know we have the song i showed you i love that song oh so go ahead and live like you are loved it's okay to act like you've been set free his love has made you more than enough so go ahead and be who he made you to be. Sometimes we're working too hard on being perfect and having the best thing of doing the best card and, um, and we miss out because God wants to use you in imperfect ways so that his ways are shown. His perfect ways, his beauty, his glory is shown through your imperfections. That is a little tough, right? <laughs> but I'll turn my camera because I want to read something to you from this small devotional that I got called Worry Less, Pray More, a women's devotional guide to anxiety-free living. I'll be reading the one that says real love before you go. So let's do that right now. God is so awesome. Thank you so, so much for being here today. It says in here, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. 1 John 4, 9 through 10, New Living Translation. And this devotional says, everyone has times when they're feeling unloved, unnoticed or uncared for, even by the people closest to them. They begin to worry, wondering if they matter at all. If you're going through such a time, take heart. God loves you more than you can imagine. You're the apple of His eye. He gave up His one and only Son to save you from death and darkness. He loved you even before you loved Him. Although that sounds loopsided, it's true. God will never not love you. He has his eye on you, cares deeply for you. He provides what you need before you need it. Rest easy, beloved daughter. Father God, Father God's love has you covered. Isn't that beautiful and powerful all at the same time? I hope that you are inspired today to use the staff that you have in your hand to go love on others and to make someone that is falling into that trap of loneliness, just bring them up, lift them up, bless them with what the Lord has given you and put in your hands. If that is cards, stamps, or any other craft, use it to bring Him glory and to lift others up. This is the season, and we know the reason for this season, Jesus Christ. I love you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope that you're inspired to use what you have. That is the idea. I love you. Ciao, ciao.